So this is full screen, full HD, 100% free video conferencing on your Android TV device. Now, how does it work? Well, let me go to my contacts. Uh, let's see how many friends I have. Okay, we have PC Doctor over there. Let's say we wanna call him. Let's click on that. We have the option there to select call. Let's select that. We can see now he gets a message on his phone saying that TD UK is trying to call him. He accepts the call and within one second, oops, let me turn my microphone off. We now have full screen video conferencing on our Android TV box. Now, this is really weird because I'm trying to work out where I should be looking up there, down there or there. But you can see guys, it's working. It's 100% free. It works on all your Android TV devices. So in this video today, let me show you how you can also set this up on your device and you can now start enjoying full screen video conferencing, especially in the current climate where most of us are in isolation. Wouldn't it be great if we could reconnect with our friends and family, see them on the big screen, and this process does not require any phone number whatsoever. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to start this process, we're going to register for a free account. Now, this free account does not need to be tied to any phone number, or should I say, you don't need to use your phone number to use this service. All you need is either your email address, or you can also link it to one of your social accounts, like maybe your Twitter account or your Facebook or your LinkedIn. Lots of different options there. Now, as per normal, I will write up all of these steps on my website because I know some of you do prefer to read the instructions as well as, you know, watch the videos. So please navigate to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com. If you don't see the menu options up here, you may have to click on the hamburger menu, but once you do see the menu options, let's click on tutorials. And the first tutorial in the list, once this video goes out, will be how you can make full HD, absolutely free video calls directly from your Android TV device without using any phone number, without using any mouse toggle or anything like that. Everything can be done with the standard remote control. Okay, let's open up the tutorial. And the first thing you see is a direct link to the software that we need to install on our Android TV device. Let's scroll down. Now, of course, for this to work, you will need to have a USB webcam. Now, the camera that I've done my testing on is the Logitech C922. And in fact, it's the camera that I'm using now to record this video. Now, that camera is a full HD camera and it also has a really good built-in microphone. So that's the one I personally recommend. But in theory, most USB cameras will work. But just to be on the safe side, I would only recommend what I've actually tested personally myself. Let's scroll down. And here we can see it says here, click here to create a free TrueConf account. So let's do that now. And here we can see we get multiple ways of signing in and creating a free account. So you could use your Facebook, your LinkedIn, your Twitter, or any of these other social networks if you want to do that. But what I actually did was to create a brand new account myself. So I just clicked on sign up. And I just registered for a new account here. So for example, for my ID, I just did my uh, channel name, which is just that. Uh, password you can just set any password that you like here you enter in your email and make sure you do enter in a valid email address because as soon as you complete the registration they will actually send you an email to activate your account so i mean of course if you want to you could create a brand new email just for this but either way make sure you can actually access that email account and let's just type in something in here and you don't need to provide your full name so again i just did uh, tech doctor uk but you can put any alias or anything that you like so type in the details there click on create an account that will then send an activation email to this email address. So whichever email address you specified, you click on that and then your account is fully activated. And there's actually one more thing that I recommend doing on this website once you have logged in before we jump over to our Android device. So let me just log in now. Okay, I've now logged in. So firstly, for example, we could change our avatar. So if you want to put your photo there or something else there, you can change that. Here we can see we are on the free plan, which does allow up to three-way simultaneous video conferencing and unlimited one-to-one -one video conferencing. And of course, we can also do instant messaging if you want to do that. Now, the key thing I recommend doing in here is actually going to the address book. So if one of your friends or family, you know, if they have signed up, then find out what their ID is, click on add user, 
and then search for them in here because it's so much easier making calls on your Android device once you already have these people or your friends and family in your address book. So search for them by using their email or their conf ID or their name. So let me just search for my other account, so which is just PC Doctor UK. Let's search for that. And we can see I've already added that into my address book. So that means that when I do log into this application on my Android device, this contact here will already be in my address book. So I can then easily make those calls. So that's all we need to do on the computer. Let's now jump over to our Android device and finish the process there. Okay, so now that we've created our brand new free account on the website, we're now going to download the application directly onto our device. Now for this, I recommend using an application called Downloader. Let's open that up. And let's now navigate to my website, which is http colon forward slash forward slash bit ly forward slash tduk. That's me and the numbers 2019. Now guys, let me just say that if you have the issue on downloader where it says that downloading is not supported, please have a look at the pinned comment because there is a very simple fix for that. So do check that video out in the pinned comment. But for now, let's click on go. Now when you get to my website, we want to open up the tutorials page because I have created a dedicated tutorial for this entire process. So when you get to my site, click on the hamburger menu, then click on tutorials, and it'll be the first tutorial in the list. Click on that, that'll show you the step-by-step -step instructions and a direct link to download the latest version of this software. Download that, install that. Once you've installed it, let's press the home key. We can now add the application to our home row. Let's click on the plus icon, Let's scroll down and the application we're looking for is called TrueConf. Let's click on that and let's now start that. Now when you start the application for the first time, it will give you multiple ways of logging in. Some of you may prefer to use your Facebook account or maybe your LinkedIn or Twitter or you can register a brand new account. But in my case, because I used my Gmail account, I'm going to click on this because that account is already logged into my shield and we can see that it logs you in straight away and actually activates your webcams. Now the webcam that I'm using is the Logitech C922. Now for me to configure that webcam, for example, I want to choose which microphone or which speaker output. Let's go to the address book. And just like on Skype, they actually have an echo test service and we can use that to A, test the webcam, but also configure some of the options. So let's click on that now and let's click on call. Let me turn that volume up a little bit. So as soon as this call gets automatically answered as it's done now, we can see that the webcam is working okay. I can now use the remote control and click on settings on the bottom right. Let's click on that. Now here we can see it's identified my camera correctly, which is the C922 Pro Stream webcam. And I will leave a link in the video description if you want to purchase the same camera as me. Let's scroll down. And here, for example, we can choose what you want your actual microphone to be. Let's click on that. We can see our three options. I think this was the default, which is the Shield TV built-in mic, which to be honest, I didn't even know I had a built-in mic, but we want to use the actual webcam. So let's select this option here. And the last option is what you want your actual speakers to be. So when you are in your video conferences, where's the sound going to come out? And the default option here is the Shield TV HDMI. So wherever you plugged your Shield in via HDMI, and in my case, it is my monitor which has built-in speakers. So that's where the sound for my calls is going to come out from. So now that's all set, let's back out of that. That's it guys, so we've now configured our webcam, we've configured our microphone, and we've also configured our output speakers. So how do we call somebody? Now as I showed you on the website, you can basically add contacts into your profile. So I didn't add this manually over here. This is all from the website. Once you've added in your contact, you can click on that and you then have options to call them or even do an instant messaging chat. So in fact, let's just try that. Let's click on chat. Let's just send a quick message. So oh, hi there. So I don't know if my phone's gonna wake up by just a message, but let's try that anyway. Hi, let's have a look on my phone. And there's a notification saying TDUK just said hi. I can go into that and I can now send a reply. So just imagine you are you know, sitting in another part of the world, in another state, in another country, you can now start sending instant messages and they'll appear on your friend's TV. So that's how you do the instant messaging. But the key thing we want to do is the calling. So let's click on that. We can see we get the message on the phone saying there's an incoming call from TD UK. Do you accept it? Let's click on that. Now within a couple of seconds, we can see that activates the microphone and, and the screen. And we now have a full screen video conference. Uh, let me just disable my mic. So inside the conference, when you press the down arrow, you get these options here. So 
you can adjust the volume, you can mute the mic like I'm gonna do now, and you can also turn off the camera. So let me do that. So now my webcam is actually off. The only thing they'll see on their phone is just your avatar because you've now disabled the webcam. And if you want to activate that again, it's down on the remote and let's click on the camera and that then instantly activates your webcam. So that's how easy it is for you to have a full screen video conference with somebody sitting anywhere in the world, 100% free. And the key thing here, guys, is it doesn't require any other phone number. So I did test some other applications, but unfortunately they required you to register a phone number, whereas this application, which I'm sure more of you would prefer, doesn't have any limitation like that. Okay, let's end the call. So that's how you do a one-to-one -one call. What if you now want to do a three-way call? Well, this also has that feature as well, guys. So we go back to the home screen and we can see we now have a conferencing feature. So I can click on that. I can say I want to create a new conference. I can click on continue. And I could now potentially add in two other participants and we could then have a three-way video call. But unfortunately, I've only got one other virtual friend. Okay, let's back out of that. Now here we have a couple of options. For example, you can set it so the only people that can call you are in your contacts we can see that option is not enabled by default. That means anybody that knows my true conf ID could potentially be calling me. So if you are a bit more concerned about your privacy and you wanna make sure only the people that are in your contacts can call you, you can turn this option on. The next option will allow you to answer calls automatically. So if your Android device is in your living room, then you may want to enable that option. Let's scroll down. Here, for example, you can clear your call history. Just like the calling here, we can specify only receive instant messages from people that are in your contacts. Let me turn that on. Again, you have the option to clear your chat history. Now, depending on what camera you're using, you may want to change the angle. So if I click on that, you can change it to a 90 degree angle or 180 or even, or even 270. But again, it does depend on what kind of camera you're using. Now, by default, it does support all of these different codecs. But to be honest, guys, even when I turn these off, I didn't actually notice any difference in quality. But you can try it on your device and see if these make any difference. But I think ultimately, it does boil down to what kind of webcam you have. So let's just leave that on. Now you can actually tweak the bandwidth that the application uses. So let's say for example, you don't have very fast internet. I can click on this and I can say that the max in is not going to be 10 meg. I'm gonna reduce that down to you know, five meg or so. Just to make sure that when you are using this application, it doesn't cripple your entire internet. So if you do want to tweak those bandwidth settings, you can do that, but I'm gonna leave mine as default. But I'll leave mine as default, which is 10 meg in and 10 meg out. And then we have Google nearby. So this actually uses three different methods, which is audio, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi to detect nearby compatible Android devices. And if it does detect something, you can then share data and content with it. But I'm gonna leave mine disabled. And the last option is just if you have any issues and you wanna collect some logs. So let's back out of that. So overall, guys, I'm really happy with this application. I like the fact that, of course, it's totally free to use. Um, it works perfectly fine on any Android TV device without using any kind of mouse toggle or set orientation or anything like that. Just install one application and you're pretty much good to go. I also like the fact that it's not tied into any phone number. You can just register with your email address or any one of the different social accounts and you're good to go. And lastly, I was really impressed with the video quality. So overall, guys, this definitely gets a thumbs up from me. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this application. As mentioned, in these times of isolation, I think this could be a great application to help us stay in touch with our friends and family. But do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.